Ah, the 1800s. Glorious. A time to be alive, where you exploited the worker population and went to war against Napoleon and had big ships and... Yeah, there was also kind of misery. The Anno series is one that have actually gone me by. I have Anno 2205. Um, I, think, I don't even know how I got it, but I got invited to the Anno 1800 beta, and I felt that maybe I should actually give it a shot. Now, I have already a sandbox game in progress here, and in fact, I have several uh, sandbox games in progress here. But I'm just going to start a new game, and I'm actually going to do it with more guidance. So we are gonna do this from the ground up. So we're gonna pick this uh, official looking person in the uniform. Because frankly some of these other people just look inept at the I very idea of running a colony. So we'll pick him. Now here is the logo screen and I actually do not like this logo screen. The reason I do not like it is because there is no way for us to have the actual logo to be in another color. All that happens is that the entire back logo shifts. I don't like that. I want to be able to have the actual logo in another color. Um, I know this is very much nitpicking, but frankly I'm not satisfied with any logo I pick because of this. Uh, so we'll pick the... Uh, And I would like more colors as well. I mean, I don't think any of these actually looks good. So his name will be Ila von Filla. That sounds good. And we'll start on the normal difficulty. You can also go for advanced settings, but we're not doing that tonight. So rather than that, we are going to uh, proceed on to our new little village here. And of course, loading times. I didn't put this on my SSD, I didn't feel that was necessary, so you'll just have to endure the prolonged loading times. However, the game actually runs fairly smoothly I'm regardless. The observer, my friend. When there is more than meets the eye, I will let you know. Long That's voyage. creepy. New orders? Okay, so the first thing we should do is send our ship out on a scouting mission. There will be more islands out there, and our job will be to find them. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build a road that will be. Every settlement needs a market. The people want a place for supplies. Provide it. Yeah, we need to provide a marketplace. Chin. Peace. I am curious about your otherworldly customs. Um, so, right now I'm trying to figure out how d I actually do turn this building, because I want it to be just a line along the road, but I, I have no... Ah, there we go. Yeah, middle mouse button. So we're gonna place that near the harbor, and then we are going to see Farmer Thank Residence you, takes three spots. So, one, two, three, and we are going to have a one, two, three. Three. Please don't leave your crate unattended. One, sir. two, three. This is me in City Builders. This is me being meticulous. My basket is flowing out. You reach a new milestone. So we are building a lot of houses here, making sure we have a bit of a village. I to say I didn't think it possible. We need a healthy population. Everything you've built so far consumes wood. We'll be needing more of it to continue. Okay, so right now we need wood, but that's not really a problem. Uh, because we, c we do have wood here. And we do know have the proper ways to procure it. So, we can either... I want to save that part of the map, actually, so... So we are going to put down one there. And you can see the per percentage numbers, which means that, uh, which means how much will be available. So we will be 
building a road here so deliveries can happen. And then of course we will need a sawmill so the wood can actually be be uh, the processed. So we'll place that there and of course we're going to need a small warehouse to house to all the supplies. So we have a village here that's currently a bit overstaffed but Flagship at your service. So here is an another nation basically. And uh, we are gonna set sail for this place. Sales. The farmers are hungry. You'll have to supply them with the necessary, starting with fish. Alright, so we'll need to create a couple of fishing dogs. That is an easy thing to do. Apparently we can't place them there, so we'll just place them alongside our current dock. I want this to basically be where pretty much everything else comes from, so... So our settlement is settling in nicely so far. I have to say that, like I said, I haven't really touched many of the Anno games, but this is more like Caesar Free for me, and I, I really enjoy that. Caesar Free is one of those games I really like, but that I also would like had a bit of a modern iteration. So we're gonna... Get some rest. It's going to be a long... There we go, now we'll have the shipping harbors ready. New orders? There should be a way for us to Brother. create a harbor here, because as you can see, the ship actually carries uh, a lot of materials for it. New, new orders? A new milestone. So we built a trading post on that island, meaning that we have actually claimed it, which is pretty nice. We still need to build a fishery. Uh, oh wait, that's not actually our island, is it? Here is our island. You restore a grain of my trust in humanity, eldest. So we right now have two. Oh, there's no warehouse in range. We might actually want to make sure that there is a warehouse in range. If I see another biscuit. Okay, so we'll create the warehouse on the other side of the street then. So they are planting, replanting forest, and these guys are keeping it up with. Yeah, we have a lot of wood, but we don't really have that much lumber, so we we'll might actually consider getting another sawmill to... You're tying the knot. Never. <laughs> yeah, we're creating another sawmill. First, uh, Fresh this morning by yours truly. The best so thing about that is that we are actually going to get... Um, Unemployment down that way. The fisheries are up, so we'll be grabbing a lot of fish. Need somewhere to drown their sorrows. Okay, so they want a pub. Fill this town with laughter. Um, I'm actually going to be say that we might actually need a fire station for us. Oh, you. Back on dry land. Uh, as for the pub, we'll create that next to the dock there. That blooming turnip was the size of her head. Uh, when it comes to cr creation of clothes, we can have a farm for that right here. 
This is the way the farmers ride, hobbledy hoy, hobbledy hoy. This is the way the farmers ride, hobbledy hobbledy hoy. Hey! What the hell was that song? I never want to hear it again. Put it on the blacklist. Okay, so we got knitters. Uh, we might actually place that on the other side of the street here. And of course, we'll need more Your of that. So we got the farms up and running. That's nice. Up with a lark this morning, I was. Risk of fire is increasing. Yeah, I'm trying to get that fire station up and running. But we still need full wood for that. So hopefully that is a wood delivery coming in. <laughs> Don't even mind the neighbors. Come on. I need the wood. Apparently we don't have a sufficient workforce anymore. And that's not good. But at least we got the fire station up and running. That's nice. So we are going to build more housing here. It's not the best spot. One, two, three. One, two, three. Your vessel shall be subject to an inspection. No. Don't bring your party's hat. Okay, so we have the new buildings planned out. Once that is done, we'll hopefully have the workforce we want. Game save. Where did you say you'd come from? So, when it comes to uh, this, our uh, logging operations, we might actually have to move them. Or, we could just establish the logging operations on this island. And just basically have a bunch of trading going on. But, uh, I think I want to save it for basically the coal sink and the clay deposits. So, we're going to keep that island... In fact, I think it's actually time that we create a trading route. So the trading route will be create route, move goods between our islands. Yeah, that is going to be... Uh, we don't actually have to do that yet. So we actually need to create something on that island before we can. Okay, so we have a bit more housing up and running now. A lot of maintenance, not enough farmers. We need more efficiency on this. Doesn't really help that we have... Have... Uh, doesn't really have this going the way we should. So, they have the basic need of a market, they have the basic need of fish, which is a good supply, and they have a good improving supply of clothes. Good to see you, Uncle. So far, the wood chopping operations are proceeding as they should. Perfect. 
Looks like we solved some of our unemployment problems as well. And the new road makes sure that no one has that far to walk, walk to work. So we'll just keep gathering that wood. And uh, yeah. We need to establish another sawmill. In fact, we're going to establish like two more sawmills. Because we have a lot of wood, but we don't have a lot of timber. And that is actually a bad... Uh, the walk workforce on the island is not really happy so in order to increase happiness we are gonna reduce their quotas by five percent this will not increase the hap this will not decrease our productivity all that much uh, but it will make the farmers more happy and we are that is actually needed so we're going to set up the pub too I am indebted to you. why are you a drunk so we're gonna put down the pub there, and we might actually have a bit Where of. You say you come from? You have prepared everything. Now is the time to advance by setting up the first workers. Okay, so we need to upgrade the two workers, and uh, I'm not going to do that just yet. And the reason I'm not going to do that just yet is because. Um, Well, Please I don't really have a good plan why I should do it, but let's just place a couple of these instead of workers. Now, we can do this one or two ways. We can upgrade uh, some of our buildings here, but promotion is not possible right now. So I don't really know how they want us to upgrade to the workers. Ah, the building actually needs to be ready too. But for better or for worse. We'll upgrade two of the residents to workers here. A new milestone. The age of industrialization. Honest work, that's all we ask. Okay, so uh, right now we do not have enough. Uh, I always appreciate your help, however overdue. The farmer workforce just balanced Same out, thing. so we are good on that. Uh, we need the clay deposit right there. So, as you can see, another tab just opened up, and we get a whole lot of other of stuff. Now, the bricks is actually one of the things that we really do need here. Uh, because that will be the foundation of the rest we of the workforce. So we are going to have a look and see if there is another clay pit that we can mine from. There actually is. So we are going to get make sure that we have really enough clay here. Of course, there's no warehouse in range either, so we're going to create the warehouse at the crossroads. And we are also going to create the... at least one brick factory in range there. Now, uh, that place also seems to... Us. Yeah, I can see that. We still need more lumber to... Upgrade everything. Okay, mind your buildings process. Now, one clay pit can supply two brick factories at a time. So, we don't need to actually open up that one yet. Uh, rather, we are encouraged to construct a brick factory instead. That's actually good to know because optimizing that kind of stuff is usually very important. So we're going to create a straight road here. Maybe three. Build a couple of ports. I wouldn't like to say. Oh, I can actually just move a house like that. That's pre actually pretty neat. Uh, we don't have enough uh, workers. We have a severe lack of workforce, actually. So, uh, we're going to make sure we upgrade a couple.
couple of more houses here. Perhaps I was wrong to think rushing ahead to tackle us. So we have upgraded part of uh, the housing downtown to create workers. And uh, of course we are going to make sure the farmers are still replaced by upgrading these buildings later on. So this will be the more farming related homesteads and will keep upgrading the downtown apartments. He's a content worker but he doesn't have his sausage, he doesn't have his bread, he doesn't have his soap, he doesn't have his school. So all of these are things that we need to provide to him. The farmers are simple folk and they don't need as much. As long as they have clothes, fish and, and a marketplace to trade their goods, they are pretty much nice. Okay, so we're constructing the second brick factory. And uh, we are going to make sure that our warehouse in the blueprint mode here gets constructed soon enough. We just need uh, five more lumber. We're still very far behind on workforce. So I'm going to have to um, get that warehouse down as soon as possible. Hide the bottle! It's the boss! Okay, so we have the warehouse going up now. Splendid. We'll use some of the lumber to upgrade at I least one more apartment. We'll need to get them the, their sausage, because apparently they don't like being without their sausages. Can't blame them. The sausages are awesome. Easy, like. so good to see now, if you don't know how a sausage is made, I can uh, pretty much You're tell you. Never. <laughs> We're gonna create the pig farms on the opposite end of the sheep farms. Game saved. There we go. And we don't want that kind of road. We want this kind of road. We'll create that road so they have a short route to the warehouse. Of course, we still need more we workers. Like a nap in the orchard. So we'll start with creating these houses and finishing up this block. Hopefully that will settle some of the workforce problems we're having. But we still have a rather insufficient workforce, so... One, two, three... Get some rest. It's going to be a long voyage. We have quite a lot of... With a lark this morning. Come on, just give me the workforce. I keep you happy. Aren't you happy? Uh, we'll reduce the clay pit by 5%. So that the working conditions are at least kept on a premium. Same with the pig farm. Pig farm only needs 5% less. So we are going to do the same thing there. Like I said, 5% doesn't really affect us in the long run. Uh, not to any degree that actually counts. So. 
I got this drill from my late uncle that just laying around the house thought you might use it. Take it. These are good times. Could they be even better? Oh, could you? I respect engineers. Right bobbish with the machines. Never know what bit of me is getting chewed up next. We'll upgrade these houses to workers. A little love is all we ever wanted. I have discovered some inefficiencies we ought to address. Okay, so we need to build a trade union. I haven't actually built that small warehouse. I had it, I had it as a blueprint. So the workforce is currently pretty satisfied, but we are still losing. Good to see you, Uncle. Okay, so trade union will be. Where did you say you come from? I can't actually build that, so it's in a range of all the worker buildings. And that's a bit of a. It's also very expensive to build. And I can't build a trade union on the tree. Yeah, I actually can. I just need to... I just need to remove some of these this stuff here. And we'll have a trading union before we know it. Construction area blocked. Okay, so the blue blueprint is uh, ready and able. Ooh, nice! They can they take that route? There aren't enough of us. Okay, we still need more farmers though, so we'll make sure the farmers market is populated and create a bit more housing right there. That blooming turnip was the size of her head. Game saved. I'll cut you back on dry land. Okay, so we'll keep constructing the farmer's residence alongside this half here and you can be moved so we we'll keep like that little road orchard. okay so it appears Wasn't like this morning I was no it is upsetting there we go <laughs> so there's all Already some sort of segregation going on here with the workers getting the buildings downtown and these guys are missing their farm fields. I don't really see how they're missing their farm fields, but I think it's because I don't actually use all of them. I would say that's probably a bug because, well, cultivated quite a thirst. because we actually do have uh, pigs right there, so... Um, we all like a nap in the orchard. So let's see where our sausage factory. Yeah, we're gonna put down the sausage factories right there. Delicious, delicious sausage. And now we need more workers. Every rose has its thorns. We are going to keep upgrading the worker buildings right here. And, uh, oh, we, our sawmill production is actually uh, going down due to a, what appears to be a... We don't really have that much wood to collect anymore. But we do have the ability to get more. Which is actually quite nice. So 
So we are gonna establish at least two more logging camps to make sure that the delivery of wood proceeds unhindered. But we still have somewhat of an insufficient workforce. I haven't actually decided if I should try and move this or if we're just gonna keep it. But I haven't actually... S oh, we are still losing money. We're basically bleeding money at this point. Fetid, festering filth. That's what happens when I get to run a city. I lose money. You're tying the knot. <laughs> okay, so we can get a potato farm here. And the potato farm is for potatoes, obviously. Up with a lark this morning, I was. Okay, so limit reached. We'll create a road here. Peddlers say there's nowhere to take it. Okay, so we need a small warehouse right there. And then we'll make sure that there is some schnapps producing facilities right there. Smells gert lush. Depending on how... Oh, crap. Now we have too few workers again. Work on this island seems to be awfully inefficient. The farmer's village is being upgraded. <sighs> we still have a very insufficient workforce. Looks like people wanna game save. People don't wanna work. Period. Oh, those mountains. We still have a trading post on this island, but I don't really see. Those who wish to grow must themselves grow others. There is nothing like trying. Aye, aye. Okay, so one of our allies have... Uh, not really allies, but one of our... Uh, of, uh, have uh, wants to actually a find us a... Oh, so we are, are... We now have the city status of a port town. Flagship at your service. Only practice can make art. So we need to find the crates, and I have no idea where those crates might be found, actually. So I'm gonna have a look <coughs> here, and uh, we can actually build a church. We're not gonna do that just yet. We are going to wait and see uh, it. If and when we actually get flagship at your service. Only practice can make art. They want us to find It's all prepared. The princess dreams have been haunted by a beautiful flower that only grows in the mountains. She wants to have some of her flower arrangements, but they are somehow somewhat out of her reach. Okay, are we talking my mountains or your mountains? I have no idea. That quest is just confusing at this point. I can't actually see any crates either, so... Yeah, I think we're just gonna delete that quest. She doesn't really like that, but I don't really care. I mean, if you go to your trading partner 
and give them a task better befitting one of their servants, then I don't really know what they what they expect. Okay, so the trade union have been built, and we want to equip them with the drill. Rare, but promises to be kept. Thank you. We'll also construct that warehouse, so we have enough of them. We're also extending the farmer's village there. So far, so good. We all like a nap in the orchard. So our sausage production is also proceeding well, even though they are still complaining about missing fields. Uh, I really think that uh, when it comes to the missing fields, they should only say they are missing fields if um, you don't have a single one. Right now I have uh, limited the number of fields for space reasons. Also, I'm a bit interested that potatoes apparently aren't for work, uh, aren't for eating, seasons. they're just for making schnapps. Size of oh, we have a newspaper waiting we for our approval. Entirely marvelous to meet you, and that we may show truth or or anything actually in my uh, our broadsheet. So there's a snap shortage. Secretary of Snaps in Lifwick due to shameful mismanagement means the very essence of society may soon evaporate. Locals Same not thing. sure where to turn off the bottle taken away. Now, of course, we can replace this with uh, propaganda if we want to. Something like this? Oh, God, we can actually replace the papers with clickbait. We will all be absolutely behind you. Buying things makes us happy, so buy now and appoint disappointing your spouse later. No. Actually, we are just gonna let this be published as it is. Journalism. Perhaps better to admit defeat, as you do in your newspaper. We are currently working on uh, getting more schnapps, so it doesn't really matter. We'll grab another potato farm. Okay, so we have another potato farm I right love there. The smell of dew. You like the smell of what? We'll add another potato farm here. Potatoes can be eaten should the need arise. Besides, schnapps, potatoes, and fish is a pretty decent combination as far as I remember.
I'm just gonna keep making potato fields. Fire runs wild. Fight this inferno fast. We have a fire department to fight the fires. So I don't need to, right? Besides, it's raining. Okay, we have a. Don't let it go to ash. Okay, we have a bit, bit of a problem there. So we are making sure we have at least another fire department <sighs> close by to the farmers' market. Oh, so the firefighters there are still in training. I see none of this. <laughs> Don't even mind the neighbors. Okay, so we still now we uh, due to the increasing of farms, we now need a large number of horrible horrible doom. <laughs> Don't even mind or farmers at the Russian court. Looks like we settled, actually managed to get the timber production up to a, not really a flying start, but. That blooming turnip was the size of her head. Ah, crap. I like the fact that you can actually just correct the placements once, once again. I am indebted to you. So farmer's residence right there. There we go. So the firefighters are in action, and it looks like they might actually save that. Save. So I'm going to see if I can actually upgrade the main street the into a paved one. That I can. So now the main road is paved, meaning that uh, it looks nicer. When we're unhappy. We'll proceed to upgrade all the buildings in the town to workers. Excellent. Looks like we have a budding community right here. Let's see what we can make manufacturing of. Uh, sausage production is holding steady, so I think we actually might uh, get some bread. Oh, I'm always busy, duck. The field don't tend itself. Okay, we'll delete that house then. We don't need... We don't actually need that one. <sighs> Especially not as we still lack <coughs> sufficient workers for the farms here.
There we go. We're just gonna make this one big gr old grain field. Fields might help. Oh, you think so? Okay, so now we have a somewhat decent area for production. Uh, we're also going to make sure we have a flour mill. And then we'll of course need bakeries. morning. I don't know why, but I'm pretty much in the stronghold mode right now, where I basically make several bakeries, several farms, one mill, and several bakeries. I'm not even sure that's the right way to do it. We'll, we'll, we'll find out sooner or later. I'm just gonna move the warehouse to that location. Right now the bakery is missing its goods, which is frankly not surprising at all. And we still do not have a sufficient worker force for everything. In fact, our f we really need more workers to tend these potato farms. One, two, three. Game save. I mean, this game is like the perfect game to play on a Saturday morning because it's just relaxing. I, I can lose myself in this. And in a way I already have. I have no idea how long I've been playing right now. I've just been f so focused on getting this town in order and make sure that everything works. The problem here is that while we do need more farmers uh, we also need more workers, and the worker space allotment is not really where it should be. So I think I'm going to continue this a bit later, uh, but um, we all know what the problem is. We need sufficient workers. We really need sufficient workers. Also, these guys doesn't really like this place because there's no marketplace close to it. So do remember that wherever you place your farmers, they are going to want to have a marketplace close by. If they don't, you are bowed. Look, we place down a marketplace and suddenly they are very happy again. So they have what they need. And it's very interesting to see how you segregate depending on what they're supposed to do. I mean, you have the workers in the town and then you have the farmers outside and... In a way, it's it feels like you're ruining the farmers' lifestyle by mixing them in with the city folk. I mean, it's not really supposed to be like that, so... Yeah. Um... We do not have enough bricks. I mean, those bricks are really not manufacturing themselves in any sort of hurry. So, I'm just... We are also lowering our unemployment rates there. So we might actually... I think actually I'm going to put down a couple of houses. In fact, let's see if we can't give uh, a bit of a seaside view to some of these people. With a lark this morning, I was. She had bunions, silly old coot. So I says, keep your feet in health or you can't work. And your six little mouths will go hungry. Okay, so they have missing. Uh, they don't have enough clothes. Um, 
right now we do have enough wool. We have really enough wool. So, looks like we just need uh, more places that actually make the clothes. Back on dry land. I wonder if the grain is produced by farmers or workers. Ah, farmer workforce, obviously. Yeah, but that will have to be it for this time. We are still bleeding money like a madman, so... I'm really much better at self-editing on paper. So we are pretty much done for this time, but thanks for tuning in with me, and we'll continue with this town a bit later.